with Super Dragon, just could we talk about him in general? Because he's a guy who, you know, before, well, I guess PWG was going, but before people really knew him as just like the owner, the guy behind PWG, he had a reputation for just some great wrestling. Him and Excalibur were a great tag team. When did you? Did you first meet him at PWG, or did you see him at all on the independent scene beforehand in the couple of years before? No. So, and this bothered a lot of people for whatever reason, but I had never even watched a PWG show before I wrestled there. Um, and it wasn't like for any reason. I just hadn't. I had access. Mm-hmm. I had DVDs sitting around. Uh, I think I may have seen clips of Pac and Generico from one uh, from my a comp my brother in law gave me. But, like, I'd never seen a PWG show. I obviously knew who all the wrestlers were from other places. Uh, but some of them I had never seen really, you know, uh, wrestle. And then once I wrestled there once, I was like, all right, bro, like, do your homework. You know, I'd seen I, – I forget. I'd seen Dragon everywhere but PWG. I don't think I'd ever seen a PWG match. It was all, like, old AWS and Rev Pro. Uh, but then I finally started, you know, watching older PWG shows, mostly just to see my friends, like, in there you know young and fun it was kind of fun to watch you know some of my my mentors and stuff when they were young and skinny doing dumb crap (laughs) so with super dragon you weren't super familiar with him before you went to work there um i mean i was i'd seen his matches and stuff but mostly it was actually east coast stuff i had seen uh like when he was over in czw and um so i mean yeah i mean i knew what he was i was honestly he was not someone i was interested in in wrestling I knew I would just be a victim of, you know, a violence party, a curb stomp, gnarly psycho driver. And I, at the time, I was just like, I don't know, like that's that I'm not hungry for that. I've never been hungry to get to go out there and like, oh, yeah, get killed. Like, no, <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want that. I know it's going to already hurt. So, you know, getting whooped by Super Dragon didn't really interest me. But then as I once I was there for a couple of years, actually, a match came up. We were supposed to wrestle in a four way tag with Super Dragon and Steen teaming. And I was just like and everyone was like, mm, you know, they're going to fucking kill you. And I was just like. I'm ready. You know, it took yeah, a couple of years, but it got to that point when, you know, once it was on once it was on paper, I mean, they, it was announced, man, we we're going to be the main event of a show. Rockness versus Young Bucks for Super Smash Brothers versus I think Appetite for Destruction was Sounds their right. name. Yeah, and I was just like, every, I mean, and like everyone was like, for weeks, you know, just ribbing me at every show. They're like, oh, bro, we're going to miss you. Oh, Super Dragon's going to, he's going to kill you. And I was just like, can you guys stop? <laughs> oh, so what, the sucks. match didn't end up happening, though? No, Super Dragon, um, he was, uh, you know, training, getting ready because he hadn't wrestled in a while. And he, uh, he injured his knee pretty bad. And he ah. was back down on the shelf for, I want to say... I don't know. It was it was months. He was he was down for a while, and that just threw it off. And then it turned the match from a main event four way into like a second match three way. And um, I, I remember not really liking that match. 